Hi, and welcome to the Glen House, a historic 1880s home house museum. Um, and I'm happy to show you just a little bit of what the Glen House has to offer. Um, so we're in the entryway. Uh, the house was built as a dowry gift by a prominent local architect by the name of Edwin Branch Dean for his daughter, Lula. And as you can see, he was very fond of his daughter. Um, and the house has been restored as though it were in its original 1880s. So the first room that you enter as you come into the door off of the landing um, is our music room, our library room, um, and this was our front receiving parlor. So normally when guests would come in, they would have been welcomed. We feel like at some point there was probably a desk here for Mr. Glenn, who was a banker and owned a local mercantile. So many of the things in the house were state of the art, and they also sold a lot of things that we imagine that they had in their house um, at their mercantile. So it was quite a show place of the time. I'm gonna go across the hallway. You'll notice as you look around the house, the really tall ceilings that help, you know, heat rises, so they help to keep the house cool, as well as these windows and the shutters that helped to keep the bugs out, but let the breezes come through. We have great natural light in this house, um, and everything that you see um, has been restored beautifully um, by local craftsmen, um, people who actually came in and volunteered their time to paint and do woodwork. So we're very proud of the house. This house receives no federal or state funding and it's all volunteer run. We're hopeful that the Glen House will be open again um, in the month of June. It's currently May, so we're waiting to hear what the most recent CDC protocols will be for June and July. Um, but in June, we're very likely to be open by appointment only so that we can kind of keep track of how many guests we have in the house and also to make sure that we've got appropriate protection for both our volunteer docents and our visitors. So we want to make sure we've got groups of no more than two or three at a time, no more than 10 in the house, and that everyone's wearing the proper CDC recommended uh, PPE at that time. We want this to be a safe and fantastic experience for everyone as they visit. One of the coolest things about this house is the bell system. There are bells kind of hidden throughout the house, including one tucked under the dining room table that Lula could use to call the servants in. This room has a fantastic Lincoln wallpaper pattern, and that's a fun pattern to look up. If anyone is watching this from Springfield, you may recognize this. This was originally an exterior wall, and a butler's pantry was added to make serving a little bit more convenient connecting what would have originally been an exterior kitchen with the rest of the house. We talked about that bell system in the dining room. The bell indicator is on the wall here, so servants could, when the bell was rang, simply come in here and a little white arrow would appear over the room where the bell was rang from. They would know where they were being called to. Hey, I hope to see you guys in Cape Girardeau. Thanks again.